Uh, the name of the presentation is More Accurate Differential Probabilities Properties of LED64 and Midori64. Uh, we will start with a background and a contribution. Following that, we will introduce the related preliminaries, and then we present a, an automatic tool for the search of differential. After that, we provide more, more accurate differential analysis of LED and Midori. At last, we will give a conclusion. Uh, differential cryptanalysis is one of the uh, is one of the most fundamental techniques uh, targeting symmetric k primitives. Since its introduction, uh, many investigations managed to achieve sec uh, provable security against it. Among these works, uh, many researchers uh, want to provide more accurate distribution of the fixed k differential probability. Apart from the theoretical research, another strong trend in the field of differential is the automatic tool for the search of differential trail or differential. However, most of the techniques uh, focus on the search of differential trail. Although we are able to obtain a large, amount, a large number of differential trail, how to use this trail to, to launch more accurate differential cryptanalysis is an open problem. Based on this observation, we focus on this, uh, we focus on this essential problems. Firstly, we consider the fixed, fixed K probability of a differential trail uh, and then, in order to deal with differential effect, we focus. Uh, we consider the fixed k probability of a differential when multiple trials are available. Uh, we also consider the weak k ratio of a uh, of a differential since since it re reflects the effectiveness of differential cryptanalysis. The contribution of this paper can be divided into, the, into these three, three parts. The first one is we provide an automatic tool for the search of differential. Uh, we know the previous techniques based on SMT can realize the same uh, task. However, since we, use, we, we, we want to use set solver to handle differential effect in the following. So we also prefer to use set here to finish the searching task. And the second contribution is we provide a, an automatic method for the search of right pairs of the step function. Uh, with this method, we, we found many iterative uh, and non-iterative non differential and with the, with the new differential, we improve the previous differential attacks. The second part is we provide two models for the estimation of the VK space, and we apply these models to the analysis of Midori 64. Before we move on to our, our, our results, we briefly recall some related preliminaries. Uh, the, concatenation, the concatenation of, di of difference, differences for R plus one internal states constitutes an R on differential characteristic, or we say differential trail. The differential probability of a differential with input difference alpha and output difference beta equals to the probability that a pair satisfy the input difference and output difference simultaneously. For a k function, we can, de we can define the k differential probability accordingly. The expected differential probability equals the average value of the fi fixed k differential probability over the whole, whole k space. Uh, the weight of a differential over a trail equals to the negative binary logarithm of the EDP. Uh, Markov cipher is an ideal iterative cipher 
For this cipher, the average differential probability over one round is independent of the output, is independent of the input. So in the differential analysis, with the assumption of independent round case, the EDP of a differential characteristic equals the product of the EDPs uh, for each round. And the EDP of a differential equals the sum of the EDP for all, all differential trails within the differential. Since Markov cipher is an ideal primitive, this kind of evaluation may divide, divide deviate from the real differential probability. Uh, many designers want, want to make their, make their cipher achieve provable security against dif differential cryptanalysis. Uh, modern ciphers are designed to withstand the ex existence of the dominating trio. For this cipher, uh, we, may, we can use the hypothesis of statistic equivalence to finish the proof of security. It claims that for most values of the k, the fixed k differential probability equals the EDP of the differential. Uh, afterwards, Damon and Raymond reconsidered the distribution of the fixed k probability uh, they prove that for a k alternating cipher, the number of red pairs under a fixed k follows a po poison distribution. The, the parameter of the poison distribution is related to the EDP of the differential. It's well known that when the parameter of the poison distribution is sufficiently large, the uh, it can be appro approximated by a normal distribution. For the approximated normal distribution, we know the probability that the k satisfy this con condition is about 50%. Uh, we call the case for fulfilling this con condition the, the weak case. Uh, since uh, when this k is you, is used in a uh, differential analysis, the, the, the attack is more likely to succeed. And uh, we donate the set of big case as WK. Now we present the first contribution of our work. Uh, it is uh, an automatic method for the search of differential. The automatic the automatic search is based on the set problem. It considers the satisfiability of a given Boolean formula, <coughs> and um, we, we use crypto mini set in, in all our search for one reason is it is compatible with the actual operation, and uh, the second reason is it supports the usage of searching for multiple solutions. The key step to realize the automatic search is to transform, uh, is to construct model for the components of the primitives. Uh, we transform the proper differential propagation rule for these components into set problems in conjunctive normal form, and then uh, invoke set solver to set to search for the differential trail. In order to <coughs> search for differential we need to invoke the, invoke the set solver for several times. Uh, we want to remark that the number of solutions handled by the solver is determined by individual set problem. According to our experience, 2 to the 33 is an upper bound. Uh, although with this method, we, we, we are able to obtain a large number of differential trail, but the crucial problem is how to use this trail to conduct differential cryptanalysis more accurately. With this problem, we move on to the differential analysis of LED. Since we target the uh, differential with high probability, so we need to uh, generate a method to accurately evaluate the differential probability. 
since the step function of LED is a public mapping, we find that the problem of computing the differential probability is equivalent, equivalent to the problem of searching for the right pair of a given differential. So we turn to the problem of search for the right pairs of a given differential. The first step is to search for many trails within the differential and then we generate constraints on the value of the right pairs. And then we convert these constraints into set problems and use set solver to search for the right pair of the trail. And the, the right pairs for all the trails constitute the right pairs for the given differential. So the remaining problem is how to generate this constraint uh, for the right pair. We first introduce a closely related conception. Uh, for a differential, uh, we combine all the, all the input values of right pair into a set F and uh, uh, the, the output values of all the right pairs uh, are organized as a set G. And the differential is called a, uh, called a planar differential if F and G are fine subspaces. And the mapping is planar if all the differential over it are planar. And it's easy to prove that the S layer composed of the parallel, parallel applications of S boxes is planar when all the S boxes have differential uniformity of four. So for the k-alternating cipher, if the S layer is planar, uh, for any differential trail with input difference delta x and the output difference delta y, we know the set F and G are fine spaces. So we can construct matrix and vectors so that for a vector for a vector, if uh, a vector falls into the affine space if and only if it satisfies this, uh, this equation. And uh, since the structure of the step function follows the k-alternating cipher and, uh, and LED utilizes uh, S boxes with differential uniformity of four, so with the previous two equations, we can derive the first constraints for the right pair of the step function. Uh, this constraint is come from the difference of the differential trail. Apart from the constraints from the differential trail, we require the internal states of the right pair follows the encryption rule. So these three constraints can fully determine the right pair of a, of a differential trail, and then we transform this constraints into set problem in conjunctive normal form and uh, call set solver to search for all the right pairs corresponding to a differential trail. To sum, to sum up, uh, in order to obtain the right pairs of a given differential, we need to firstly search for many differential trails within the differential and then generate metrics and vectors corresponding to the trail and uh, uh, applying set solver to get the red, red pair. With this method, we, we have found many iterative and non-iterative differential for LED and with the improved differential, we improve the previous related K attack Now, uh, the, the last part is about the, the differential analysis of Midori 64, considering the case schedule. Uh, in this part, first we, firstly, we will see for each differential trail of the differential, we can derive a subspace of the k space, and this space covers the k space of the differen differential trail. And, uh, the, the union of this set is related to the VK ratio of the, of the differential. And when a K falls into more than one space, 
the corresponding fixed k probability will increase since the uh, since the uh, corresponding trail will hold uh, simultane simultaneously. So from the view of the designer, we want to minimize the weak k ratio, and uh, from the the view of the attacker, we want to detect the maximum number of compatible characteristics, uh, and uh, the case the case validate all the compatible characteristic. Uh, might be uh, used in a VK attack. So in this part, on the one hand, we we want to uh, search, we want to give a method to evaluate the VK ratio, and on the other hand, we want to determine determine the maximum number of compatible char characteristics. For the k alternating cipher, when the S layer is planar, we can derive a linear constraints on the involved subcase. A differential trio have uh, the necessary condition for a differential trio have for a differential trio have a red pair is the S sub k forcing to the affine space. And otherwise, if the sub k falls out of this affine space, uh, the differential trio will ha have no red pair. So for a, for a differential consists of mul multiple characteristics, if a particular k leads all characteristics to be in possible trio, the differential under this fixed k turns into an impossible differential. And we donate this, this case as, this case as, as a, ik, and uh, clearly, the VK space is covered by the complement complementary set of IK. So in the previous description, we know the VK space of each trail is covered by the set, the set VK. So the VK space of the differential is covered by the union of this VK. And this probability constitutes a nature upper bound for the VK ratio. So we turn the problem of evaluating the VK ratio into uh, to, to a problem of estimate, estimating the size of this set. And since we find that handling the unions uh, the, the intersection set is more convenient than the union set, so we apply the Morgan's law here to transform the union set into intersection set. And then we proposed an automate, automatic, automatic method to evaluate the size of this set. The main, main idea is to convert the constraints on the set into clauses in conjunctive normal in set problem and invoke set solver to solve the searching task. As a result, we provide four round we provide two four round differential with VK ratio much lower than lower than fifty percent. And uh, in order to validate to validate validate the theoretic results. We, we do some tests with random k, and the experimental results fit very well with the theoretic value. And from the view of the designer, if this kind of differential is utilized in, in a differential analysis, the attacker will prob probably fail since he can't find red pairs under the red k. Uh, the last, the, the last, the last problem is the maximum number of compatible characteristics. Firstly, we introduce a closely related problems. Uh, the max puzzle problems, uh, given a set of polynomial functions, the max max puzzle problems is to find find x such that it satisfies the maximum number. <coughs> Of polynomials in the function set, and uh, in the previous dist distrib 
description, we know uh, k falls into the per, the the vacant space of the trail if and only if the uh, k satisfy this linear constraints, and we donate this linear constraints as f j. Uh, we find that determining the maximum number of compatible characteristics is equivalent to finding case so such that the number of functions following this con contradiction, these conditions is maximized. Uh, to solve the max Poso problem, there are many aut automatic methods and we use an automatic method based on set to settle this problem. As a result, we apply this method to the analysis of a four-round differential of Midori. We find the maximum number of compatible characteristics, and uh, since the case uh, validates all the compatible characteristics, we'll have a higher differential probability. We found that on eight subspaces, the EDP of the differential is improved from about two to the minus 24 to two to the minus 16. And we also found that the probability that a K with this enhanced probability is at least two to the minus 12. Uh, all the theoretic results are validated with random test. Now we finish all the contents of the paper and give a conclusion here. Firstly, we propose a, an automatic method based on set to search for the differential. And then we propose a method to search for the right pair of the step function of LED64. And at last, we propose two models to estimate the VK space of a differential. Uh, we want to remark that all the automatic methods can be genera generalized to analyze other efforts. And the results in this paper illustrate that for some lightweight block ciphers with a simple case schedule, we need to pay more attention to the analysis of the differential. Uh, an open problem is how to utilize these uh, automatic tools to provide more pre pre precise evaluation for the linear high effect. Uh, that's all for the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Christian? Do you think these techniques can be applied to icebergs which are not uh, planar? Uh, I think maybe, but I think um, if you want to do this, you need to add some more techniques to handle that. For example, uh, when the, when the input, input space is not a fan space, maybe the union of the offense space, you can use other techniques to deal with that. Okay, thank you. And thank all the speakers of this session. And next is the coffee break. And the next session will start at 11.30. So let's come back at 11.30.